Buying coins and getting banned are not a good combo. If you boys don't want to get banned and want cheap, fast, and reliable coins, hit up my sponsor, AOEAH. Use code Monty at checkout and DM me for the tips to not get banned, boys. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back to another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. What to do in Madden 23 Ultimate Team right now, boys. We're going to be focusing on the free cards, saving your coins, no packs. Basically, everything you should be grinding in Madden 23 Ultimate Team right now. Let's get into this video. So, boys, let's honestly i don't even know where to start here let's obviously we're gonna start off with the field pass the field pass means pretty much everything guys grinding the field pass means grinding everything so we're just gonna start with the field passes which field passes are the most important so season four field pass is the most important one but playing all of these other not playing these other ones but getting xp for these other field passes will get you xp for the season four field pass so in my opinion the most important one is probably the competitive out of these four specifically because you probably i think you get the most xp out of it if you don't it's the easiest way to get the xp out of it i think you get like a hundred and fifty thousand xp out of this i want to say that let's see you go all the way down you get 25,000, 50, 75,000, 200,000, no, no, my bad, 100,000, 125,000, so you get 125,000, I might have missed one, or 150,000 XP, somewhere around there, but guys, make sure you get these two sets done right away, these stats are going to come as you just play Madden, like I said though, make sure you get these two done, very, very important, a free 20 CP, and uh, 20 CP gets you literally from level 0 to level 4, so I would get on it, uh, out of these three, solo battles, mutt champs, and head-to-head -head seasons, my favorite one do is definitely mutt champs the easiest way to level up in the competitive field pass is grinding the mutt champs and uh, if i were you guys this is what the main thing i would be grinding is before you go ahead and grind your mutt champs though make sure you have a backyard ballers in your lineup make sure you have a mission mutt player in your lineup make sure you have a sugar rush player in your lineup make sure you have a free agency a game changers an nfl draft a ring of honor a team of the year player in your lineup this does not have to be a master. This could be a 77 overall right tackle backup in your lineup. Does not have to be a master hero, whatever champion you want to call it. Doesn't have to be it. So, like I was saying, man, put all those players in your lineups. All of these things, you're probably going to need to complete sets, do solos, things like that. So, let's talk about the actual field passes now. We're going to go over to the head-to-head -head section in a little bit. But, remember I was saying put those players in your lineups. You guys can see right here, rush for a 1,000 yards, blah, 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 backyard player in your lineup. Challenges, complete solo challenges, sets, complete sets, house rules, house rules, solo battles, solo battles. So, this could actually go for head-to-head -head or solo battles, which I love. And, uh, daily objectives, very important as well. So that what i just said for backyard ballers pretty much goes for every other promo yeah i'm not really gonna go deep into that so basically man to earn xp for what you want to earn for example if you want to earn xp for a mission mutt go ahead and take a look at it complete some set let's take a look mission mutt you probably need to complete some sort of sets yup every single one of these is going to have the same format guys every single one of these field passes is going to have the same format so let's get out of here let's move on Let's just say we put all those players in your line in the lineup. Right? We put all those players in the lineup. Now, let's talk about head to head. Like I was saying with Mutt Champs, Mutt Champs is definitely the most important online game mode to play because you get so much XP. So as you guys can see right here, I'm 1 0 in Mutt Champs. Definitely got to do more of this. Grind out the Mutt Champs. And if you want to grind out the solo battles after, I mean, this event lasts till the 18th. Do I think it's worth it? Usually not. But, um, yeah, no, don't, don't grind that. I don't even know why I brought that up. Grind the mutt chance first, man. Grind the mutt chance first. Now we're going to talk about the best solo challenges to go ahead and grind. Um, let's see it, man. Let's see it. But I think we're going to have to go ahead and change our cap to see the solos because this game stinks. I'll be right back. All right, boys, let's go and look at the solo challenges. Finally, like, I don't even know, dog. I don't even know what to say let's go and take a look so we're finally at the solo challenges i hate ea let's continue so um the heritage month we're not even going to talk about because you know they ruined the promo it absolutely sucks there's nothing good about it 
Black Beetles and Stoop Strikes. Oh, that's Block Beetles. I just said Black Beetles. Stoop Strikes and Block Beetles. Um, these are basically just Gridiron Guardian Season or Field Pass XP if you want to low ahead and level up in it. I pr you probably get a BND something in here as well. No, I guess not. So you get XP for the Backyard Ballers Field Pass. Playing these solo challenges right here would do it if you want to level up in it. You get Season XP. You get a bunch of rewards as well. NFL Draft, pretty much same goes to here. I don't think there's actually an NFL Draft um you yeah, know there isn't if you want to get a little bit of xp for the field pass i wouldn't do it if you're trying to get xp i would only do these challenges if you want the 97 moving on launch sequence this i would do if you're trying to get xp for the field pass actually is there other other solos for these i don't think there are there aren't so i don't really know if those are going to get you xp i'm going to go and look at the field pass after we look at the solos and we will take a look at it quick team diamonds free 99 overall isaiah polo mal and you get a bunch of team upgrade tokens team captain upgrade tokens definitely get this done definitely best safety in the game ring of honor challenges xp right here uh would definitely mm, no nah, i actually wouldn't do these i take it back wouldn't do these sugar rush would do these just for the xp if you want the xp continuing on nfl free agency game changers team of the year these two i wouldn't do but i would do the team of the year to get the free team of the year player ultimate legend definitely would do this for the upgrade tokens and you get a free ultimate legend player combine would only do it for xp or the bnd actually would not do it at all anymore it's 96 bnd team captains would do it for the upgrade tokens weekly wild cards would do it for the weekly wild card player that comes out i believe next week or it was this week not sure and uh that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to say here for you. Uh, usually, I always say Legends. But it's pretty much outdated for that now. And usually, I would say AK New Class. But those are pretty outdated now. So, those are the best solos to play in Mutt. Let's go back to the Field Pass really quickly. Just to see what's going on with the Mission Mutt Field Pass. If you need to complete solos. I don't know. You do. So, yes. Get these solos done. You will get XP for the Field Pass if needed. And, uh, yeah, man. That's pretty much it. Mutt Champs Field passes sets solos and that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy this video smash the like button thank you boys for watching peace out